If it is necessary to inspect and service the diaphragms, first ensure that the oil has been drained from the reservoir or that the pump has been turned on its end with the diaphragms uppermost. After removing the valve plate, lift the first diaphragm by one edge and turn the pump shaft until the diaphragm pulls up. This will expose machined cross holes in the plunger shaft behind the diaphragm. Insert a plunger holder through one of the holes to hold the diaphragm up. The proper size plunger holder is included in the Wana toolkit. Remove the screw, o-ring and follower in the centre of the diaphragm and this will allow the diaphragm to be removed for inspection. A ruptured diaphragm generally indicates a pumping system problem and replacing only the diaphragm will not solve the larger problem. Diaphragms can wear for a variety of reasons. Some kinds of wear and the likely causes are highlighted in the maintenance and servicing manual and the troubleshooting section of this CD.